In Dorset, the landscape is shaped by a completely different underlying geology to that of Skye, and you will see that we'll be dealing with a whole succession of sedimentary rocks and their response to erosion. As well as being one of the most beautiful coastlines in Britain, the Dorset coast is also of considerable scientific importance. It's perhaps best known for its variety of rocks and some world-famous fossil localities. But it also has some impressive landforms. These include landslips. This one's at a promontory known as St Albans Head. There are natural arches. This one's at Durdle Door. Between Studland Bay and Pool Harbour, there's a marvellous beach and sand dunes. In contrast, other parts of the coast have impressive sea cliffs, like these at Warbarrow Bay. And inland, a rolling landscape of hills and valleys. At ground level, it's difficult to make out any pattern to the landscape. But from a higher vantage point, and looking east, you can see that the hills terminate in a distinct ridge that curves across the landscape to form a flat top area, and that's cut by cliffs at the coastline. From the air, here's another view, where you can see the ridge curving round towards St Albans Head. Approaching these cliffs from the sea, and this time looking west, you can recognise St Albans Head again. So what clues can we find to the underlying geology of the area? Well, important evidence comes from the stones used in the local buildings. Widespread use has been made of two local limestones. The Purbeck stone, often used in the construction of cottages in Dorset, and the Portland stone, more durable and used for major public buildings. So we might expect that these limestones form an important part of the underlying geology. The white rocks capping the cliffs at St Albans Head show good horizontal layering, that is, they're bedded and are sedimentary in origin. It's a limestone, in fact it's the Portland limestone. Lower down on the cliff is a much softer grey rock that, when wet, resembles potter's clay. Close up, it's very loose and friable. This clay is one of a series of softer sedimentary rocks, mainly clays and shales, which underlie the harder limestone above. Landslips occur when the clays become waterlogged, particularly after prolonged periods of rainfall, and when the sea erodes the relatively soft clays and shales at the foot of the cliffs. This is the Kimmeridge clay, and it's much better exposed a few miles to the west of St Albans Head, where it forms the cliffs and shore at Kimmeridge Bay. Here you find some very fossil-rich rocks among the relatively thin bands of clays, shales and limestones. This fossil is an impression of an ammonite in the Kimmeridge Shale. And here's another example of an ammonite fossil, which occurs in one of the limestones found in Dorset. Spectacular, isn't it? Thank you.